What's going on everyone? This is Kunal. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the holy grail of the internet. Is the metaverse possible on the blockchain? So there are four big technologies that will shape the future. They are number one, the internet of things. Number two, blockchain, which means the internet of value and decentralized information storage. Number three, artificial intelligence. And number four, fully immersive virtual reality and augmented reality metaverse so what is the metaverse so a metaverse is a virtual reality space in which users can interact with a computer generated environment and other users and the it's a collective virtual shared space created by the convergence of virtually enhanced physical reality and physical persistent virtual space including the sum of all virtual worlds augmented reality and the internet so through science fiction we've all seen the idea of a metaverse and fully immersive VR and that's part of the idea of being plugged into the matrix and personally in my childhood growing up a couple of my favorite shows presented this idea from Scooby-Doo and the cyber chase where the characters got you know beamed in to a virtual video game and they played like 10 levels of you know fully immersive virtual video game to Yu-Gi-Oh, where the characters sat uh, into a VR pod and connected their brain to the technology and got transported into a virtual dual monsters world. So let's go into the projects. The projects that are trying to implement this are Decentralized, Decentraland, Vibe, and Metaverse ETP. So what is Decentraland? So Decentraland sitting here at about 14 cents 145 million dollar market cap and a circulating supply of over 1 billion with a total supply of two and a half so if you go on their website they describe themselves as the first virtual platform owned by its users so grab a VR headset or use your web browser and become completely immersed in a 3d interactive world so a commenter on the Decentraland reddit really went into this so if you hang over here, I'm going to really go through this quickly because I think this person, Satoshi Style, really does a great job of delving into this topic and presenting us a proof of concept. So, imagine for instance that you wanted to shop for a new bookshelf from Ikea. You strap on your Rift and log into Decentraland and go to, by way of virtual teleportation, a virtual kiosk built by Ikea. At first, maybe it's like a pod that you're standing in surrounded by screens, like Batman's supercomputer with its 12 plus screens in the new movies. You search for bookshelf and on each of the 12 screens are the search results, already displaying far more than just a thumbnail and a one line description. You virtually dismiss the ones you don't want with a wave of a hand and you select three you're interested in. You pull them out of the screens and the IKEA kiosk renders them in the form of a three dimensional fully to scale bookshelves in your general vicinity. You can manipulate them. They weigh nothing, of course. So you can flip them, rotate them, turn them upside down, walk around them and whatever you want. You select the one you like the most and enter augmented reality where the front facing camera of your VR headset is turned on and you can actually place the bookshelf in your physical house to see exactly what it looks like. You buy it and Ikea ships it to you in three to five business days. Then you need to get to class. You traverse Decentraland, teleporting instantly through, through your mechanical engineering class. See, someone built a virtual university that you attend, and the mechanical engineering class is decked out virtually, of course, with technology and equipment that would be impossible or prohibitively expensive in the real world. I'm thinking your professor stands at the table, the students crowd around them. The table projects 3D holographic images above it of a machine he's teaching you about. He's able to manipulate it, Tony Stark style, moving pieces around, deconstructing it, scattering its component parts nearly above the virtual hollow table. Right? He passes the controls over to any of his students at any time to see if they can reassemble it or make modifications that would be helpful. And you can ask him questions in real time. Of course, it's completely interactive. Right? So he, the commenter continues to describe, you know, how there's a virtual library and you can go into that virtual library and with like a one dollar monthly membership and get you know the 40 screens available for viewing of different books and things like that and it can be really quiet right then he goes on to talk about you know 
a, a many different areas and places kind of like an own virtual world where you're completely immersed so this concept of of decentraland the way decentraland wants to implement virtual reality is really have you go into a fully immersive vr environment so that's decentraland however there's another project that's looking to implement its own version of virtual reality and a metaverse and that is combining cryptocurrency with virtual reality through a vr marketplace vibe and vibe hub so vibe has many features right the world's first crypto based virtual augmented reality marketplace and hub trusted blockchain technology a global cryptocurrency based on ethereum erc20 compliant used for microtransactions on the vibe hub platform so an alternate reality providing artists and educators the platform to reach millions of viewers in one stream in VR and monetizing in a virtual world using volumetric video and other virtual assets to monetize content in VR and AR technology for the first time. And the last, there's more sections to this, giving you a voice amongst the masses. Exposure in unique marketplaces and hubs don't compete with hundreds of other unrelated tags and topics one-stop shop platform for music to education gaming and dating marketplaces just to name a few all from one platform with one currency and paying publishers fairly this is really important you keep all proceeds from your own user generated content we also have revenue sharing opportunities for collaboration content that we produce and the last part of this is safe and secure of course because it's on the blockchain no middleman no fees Blockchain, and as, and as many other projects in blockchain are doing, they're getting rid of the concept of the middleman, right? So the content creators or providers or manufacturers or whatever are directly interacting with the customers, consumers, clients, etc. And more immersive social experience. Express your creativity in a virtual world and share the experiences with other users around the world. So just to go over Vibe and how's, what's going on with the token itself and the token metrics in OnCoin market cap sitting at 23 cents market cap of 46 million uh and circulating supply of about 200 million with a total supply of 267 million and it's sitting way down off its all-time high so vibe is really interesting uh you know this article on steam it goes in to describe it you know um about, about how virtual reality is becoming a key part of entertainment in the future and vibe really wants to be at the forefront of this and it's vibe is a little bit different from decentraland so while in decentraland you are fully immersing yourself in the vr vibe is kind of a little bit more augmented version of it where it's bringing the technology to you and bringing the the this kind of uh blockchain using the power of blockchain technology you can buy or sell virtual reality sessions right with a teacher a celebrity a musician or more so it's a little bit different it's a little bit more socially based versus decentralized which is just overall so everyone can go into the system and then you know meet with whoever else they want to meet with uh, you know vibe hub is giving more you know intimate one-on-one -on -one, uh, social uh, interactions and also bringing more augmented reality to you so bringing some of this technology and the metaverse to you right so that's vibe for you and the um the last project i wanted to discuss is metaverse right so metaverse etp is has an interesting idea so no the first thing they want to do is what is metaverse so it's an open source public blockchain that aims to provide asset digitalization asset digitization and identity capabilities through blockchain as a service we make convenient secure digital finance services accessible to all internet applications at virtually no cost so one of the things they want to do is right here asset digitization so it could be a competitor to a liquid asset token in that sense where you <clears throat> can put your house on the blockchain and, and 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 have people invest in it and also the other part of it secure digital finance services so it could be competing in the fintech industry with uh, coins like Wanchain, right so that's something to keep in mind so what exactly does this mean so digital assets um, metaverse smart token on metaverse blockchain are trust free traceable and immutable decentralized smart properties that can be freely registered transferred issued deposited used as collateral and burnt so you have a digital identity which are self-sovereign identity ledgers on the metaverse blockchain digital credit is created through interactions with assets and other identities and you have the oracle intermediary so oracles are service providers with digital identities rather than decentralization 
Metaverse integrates intermediaries into the blockchain, providing rapid and transparent supervision. And here we go, on-chain exchange. So Metaverse allows value to be exchanged freely and easily. Control of assets is returned to the user, preventing asset theft. So the reason this project is really exciting is because it, it using the leveraging blockchain as a service technology, they can what they're doing is they're going to say, okay, we're going to virtualize your house, virtualize your car, all these other assets, and that's how we're going to enter this new reality and create this kind of you know augmented kind of reality. So just to give you a, an idea of the price here. Here we go, Metaverse ETP. So it's sitting here at $32 million, $5 million um, um, volume, and $35.6 million circulating supply with a max supply of $100 million. So it's fairly low uh, and sitting at a decent price and a decent market cap. So that's Metaverse. So here, this is just an overview of what the Metaverse is and what fully immersive virtual reality would look like and some of the projects that are going over this so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this proof of concept and uh just to go final thoughts here uh we have all coin buzz a couple of all coin buzz channels so first we have all coin buzz io on twitter which i really hope you guys follow and then we also have altcoin buzz ladies on twitter as well uh at a buzz underscore ladies and they have a really nice uh twitter and youtube channel as well and then we have our website, allcoinbuzz.io, where well, you can uh, go on there and you get uh, you can follow us and get our newsletter. You can get uh, news articles that we create on what's the latest buzz that's going on uh, with news and updates. And we got podcasts, so you can go on there as well. So just to conclude here, please uh, go on our YouTube channel, like, subscribe to the, our channel, like the video, and really... I uh, would like to see you in the next video. So thanks a lot, guys.